Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to change the color of the button in the main navigation of your Squarespace website. That button is designed to match the primary button color that you set inside your site styles menu. But if you want it to be a different color than the primary button, you've got to use just a little bit of custom code to make that magic happen. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'm going to share my screen with you to teach you exactly how to add this code to your Squarespace website and how to make it uniquely yours. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I'm going to hop into edit mode, then I'll select edit site header to add the element of the button to my main navigation. Now, if we edit this button and take a look at the design tab, you'll see that we can choose primary, secondary, or tertiary button styles. But if we want to customize this button to be unique, we need to use code. I'll select exit and save, and we'll navigate to our pages menu. Then we'll select website tools and then custom CSS. This button is going to be on every page on our website. So we need to make sure we add the code here to the custom CSS panel. Now the code name for this button is header actions action CTA. And then we have to throw in the letter A because we're changing the active link. So let's go ahead and make some changes here. I'll open up a curly bracket and let's start with the background. I'll say background orange, just to make it a little bit brighter. Now you'll notice I typed in the background color code, but nothing happened. That's because buttons are notorious for needing to be important in Squarespace. So I need to add exclamation point important to the end of my code. And now we'll see the change happen to that button. Let's make a few more customizations. I'm going to add a semicolon. And how about we change the color of the font? We'll make it a dark gray color and we'll add exclamation point important. And now the text in the button will change color. We can make all kinds of customizations using this unique selector for our button. Let's do a little bit more. I'm going to add a semicolon. And how about we say text transform uppercase exclamation point important. And how about we add letter spacing, uh, maybe 5px between those letters. That's probably going to be too much space. We'll add important and take a look way too much space. All right, let's pull that to maybe 2px between each character. There we go. Now, how about we make that font a little bit more bold? We'll say font weight bold exclamation point important and voila. We now have a button that is completely unique to the header of our website. Ooh, let's change up one more thing. How about we add a border radius? We can bring in every corner by 30 pixels. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. Now we have a button with a unique background, unique color. We made it uppercase. We added some spacing between those characters. The font is bold and it has a new shape. All kinds of fun stuff is happening. But before we call this tutorial a wrap, I need to show you something very important. I'm going to select save and we're going to take a look at our mobile menu because the button there hasn't changed. This button goes by a completely different code name that we need to add to our code. Now, we still want all of the same changes to happen to this button on our mobile menu. We want it to be orange and with the dark gray letters and all of that fun stuff. So all I'm going to do is add a comma after the A, a space, and I'll paste the new selector class. Now we have that exact same button style being applied to our mobile menu and the desktop version of our website. Pretty awesome, right? Now I'll go ahead and select save because I realized I want to show you one more code trick before we're finished. I'm going to copy this main selector for the desktop version of our button. I'm going to add it to a new line of code and I'm going to do something fun right here. I'm going to add a colon and type the word hover before I open up my curly brackets. I want the background to be bright red on a hover. Again, I need to say exclamation point important. And we're going to get this button changing bright red on a hover. But there's another line of code that we should add right here. And that is opacity one exclamation point important. Now you'll see how much more vibrant that red is. The default in Squarespace on a hover over a button is to change the opacity so it's slightly transparent. Just a little pro tip that this is an extra line of code you'll want to have for this hover effect to see the color in its full brightness. Now we can select save. Underneath this video, you'll find the codes that I just shared with you, including that awesome hover effect. Just make sure that you customize the values like the color codes so that it matches the unique style for your own Squarespace website. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and let me know in the comments and check out some of the related content linked below because I've got a lot more to teach you about all the cool things that Squarespace can do. Thank you so much for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. 
When Squarespace design options are starting to limit your creative ideas, there's a pro secret that you should know. Creating your own code for Squarespace is not that complicated. I taught myself how to do it, and now I've taught thousands of Squarespacers around the world how to do it too. If you want to learn basic CSS for Squarespace in less than 20 minutes, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn.